Now that we've implemented our theme wizard theme and our global layouts, um, we need to try and match the, the, the block structure of our design uh, into our real site. Now this isn't particularly a theming activity, it's more of a site construction activity. But before we can try and style these blocks, we obviously need to get them in. And um, this should be a very straightforward video. All I need to do is to use OC Portal's um, interface. Now I'm just bringing up the annotation I made previously. Um, for your own theme, I, I hopefully you do something like this yourself. Um, it doesn't have to be actually in a PDF, it could just be in your head, but it does help to kind of think things through up front. So I've annotated what the um, individual blocks are. Unfortunately, unfortunately the, uh, the, the Mac preview tool makes it a little bit hard to actually uh, use these uh, annotations, but um, Adobe PDF Reader is a lot better. Um, but actually I, I can recall from memory what's what. Um, so we have a search box, we have a main news block, we have a, this is a catalogue, this is another catalogue, this is a catalogue, and this is a side news block, this is a um, menu, side stored, um, side stored menu block, um, this is a side stored menu block, and this was just um, uh, static HTML essentially, and this was um, a main ran away block. So I just need to use the zone editor to lay it all out. I've already turned off WYSIWYG editing um, because as a web designer we really want to have more control than Comcode makes easy and the WYSIWYG editor has an unfortunate habit of messing up quite careful CSS layouts and making a big mess to be honest. Um, that's just kind of a, an inevitable problem with a visually orientated tool. Uh, it, it doesn't really know what we're trying to do, it just um, tries to match things visually and gets it wrong. So um, let's start adding our blocks using the OC Portal interface. So we're, gonna, we're starting in the left panel, so going down the left panel, the first one is the main search block. I don't think I need to customize the parameters, so I'll just add it immediately. And beneath that, we will add the main news block. And again, I'm just going to leave the parameters as they are. And beneath that is our catalog reference, which is the main CC embed block, the main catalog category embed block. And um, hopefully we'd have actually created our catalog by now. And um, this would allow us to uh, choose the category we want. Uh, in actual fact, I haven't created the catalog yet, but let's pretend it's just the hosted sites catalog is the one we wanted. Uh, and we add that. And that's our left panel. I'll just consolidate it a bit. And our right panel, uh, we've got the side news block. And we have a, another catalog embed block. I'll just take this actually from the left. In your case, you'd actually want to use the block tool and put it, and it would put in the correct ID. Um, and the last one's an information block and I'll just put in uh, to do here because we're going to get the XHTML later. Uh, in the middle, um, oh we've, we've actually got the side personal stats block um, but this is actually going to go on a panel top which is separate from this. Um, it happens to be the case that the zone editor does not have a editing space for the panel top or the panel bottom actually. 
um, but we can access it um, if we just edit it as a page. All panels are actually just um, just com code pages with a special name. So I just select the panel top and I go into edit and it has a lot of default code in here because th there is a default panel top and it's used for the forum. It displays the forum menu um, but only if you're on a certain if only if you run a, one of a certain number of pages um, or the forum pages or the uh, account pages, the groups page, the member contact page, the recommend page and so on. Um, we do explain what this kind of stuff does later on in the tutorial but actually we don't need it for our theme so it's wiped and I'm just going to add the um, it was the side personal stats block otherwise known as the login box and um, save that um, okay Okay, going back to our zone editor, we now need to add the panels that are on our start page. Um, and so we need to add the blocks that are on our start page. So we've got the main CC embed block. Again, I should add this properly, but uh, I haven't added the catalogs yet, so uh, it wouldn't be available to select from. And the main banner wave block and um, again I should have created the banner type for this um, main banner for, for these sponsor logos but I haven't yet so I'm just going to leave this as the general one for now and uh, here we go and let's just uh, tighten that up a bit and save And here we go, we have um, a very different looking fun page. As you can see these blocks, uh, some of them are alright and some of them are completely wrong. Um, obviously there is a big difference from this particular login box and the default OC portal one. So we are later going to have to do some quite heavy styling. But that's fine, that's all normal, a normal part of the theming process. Uh, the search box it's not a million miles away it'll take a little bit of work um, we can't see any news yet um, so we, we can't really see whether that's good or not yet uh, this message about no entries again is because we don't actually have any entries in our catalogue I, I suggested that for your theme that you actually create all this in front um, because then when you, when you get to doing this it's all a lot easier to have everything laid out for you. It, it's certainly easier to make a theme if you um, can kind of guide your process in, in a quite structured way. Uh, and our partners, uh, because I use the um, the default banner type, it's actually shown all the big banners and the default type, um, but if I'd chosen the right type and I'd added these as banners into it, it, it would have looked pretty close actually. Um, so that concludes this tutorial. In, in, in the next video, um, we will be actually styling one of these blocks to uh, get in our XHTML and make it look according to the design. Okay, thank you for listening.